Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I got my tinfoil helmet on there. A um, couple days ago, I made a video about how the U.S. created ISIS. They're working together. <laughs> Shit like this. I was expecting to get more hate for that, but uh, sadly, most people seem to agree with me or whatever. Um, just to clarify, I was just fucking around in that vid. I don't think that ISIS and the U.S. are in cahoots or whatever. I don't think that the U.S. created ISIS. I don't believe in the New World Order. Um, I used to in the past. I was, you know, I enjoyed the, the conspiracy theories or whatever, but... It's been a long time that I stopped believing in that shit. Because it makes zero motherfucking sense. So, with that said, I'm going to take off my, my tinfoil helmet there. Got to stop the signals there. Um, Take off the tinfoil helmet because it's time to get real. I'll open this motherfucker. Um, there is no proof that the U.S. created ISIS. None. Fuck all. Oh, the CIA created this and that. Oh, it's the Jews created ISIS. Um, again, no proof. There's no proof that the U.S. funded ISIS. No proof of that. They did fund Syrian rebels, but the rebels are supposed to go against ISIS. That was the plan to fund them to go against ISIS. So they didn't fund ISIS in any way. Some rebels ended up joining ISIS. Shit happens, mistakes happen in war. And there's no proof that it was orchestrated for some of the rebels to join ISIS later with the weapons or whatever. No proof of that. They just, you know, ended up funding a couple of bad apples and they ended up joining ISIS. Shit happens. Um, the U.S. wants to take down the Syrian government. And that's pretty much no secret. Um, the U.S. told them to fucking... To step down. They want to take down the Syrian government. And that's, uh, that's no secret. It's not a conspiracy or anything like this. Um, they think that the Syrian government is like an evil regime that they killed some of their own people stuff like that and that's why they want to take take them down and that's a good thing if they're killing their own people and shit um, and i think the u.s is using like a divide and conquer kind of method there they give money to the rebels to fight so then you got the rebels fighting isis they're fighting the syrian government it's like a big triple threat match or whatever and eventually the u.s is gonna come in they'll get an easy victory once the terrorists have killed themselves or whatever it's a smart move let them kill each other or whatever. Smart move. The U.S. wants to steal the oil. Um, the thing is, the world depends on that oil. The economy depends on the oil. So that shit needs to be controlled. Um, for example, there's ISIS members selling oil... Um, if the U.S. wouldn't get involved in shit, all that oil would end up in the hands of terrorists, stuff like that. So, the U.S. 
controlling the oil is good for the whole world and for the economy. Um, when it comes to Russia, again, there's no like conspiracies against Russia. Russia and, and the US, they have a big grudge. They've always had a grudge. They put the stick in each other's wheels, you know what I'm saying? It's two big mega powers that are fighting for more control, more power, blah, blah, blah. So there is no big conspiracy against Russia. They're always going to hate each other, probably. And just to clarify, I'm not like an anti-American. Canada and the U.S. are allies. The U.S. helps us out if we need their help and shit. So I'm not anti-American. I don't hate the U.S. government and shit like this there, so... I don't think the U.S. created ISIS. I don't think they're funding ISIS. I don't think the Illuminati and the New World Order exists. I think that's just a big pile of fucking bullshit. So there's my thoughts on these issues. My other video was just me fucking around or trolling or whatever. Not a conspiracy nut job, goddammit. Here's some tin foil for y'all's asses. Take this tin foil, put it around your heads, and shove it straight up your candy asses. Until next time, peace.